Write the repeating decimal as a fraction in simplest form. Repeating decimal. If it was a terminating decimal, we've learned like if you have 0 0.5, you can turn that into a fraction or a rational number by putting a 5 over 10, because this number is literally 5 tenths. So you put 5 over 10. And then to put it in simplest form, you find the GCD of the numerator and the denominator, and they both have 5 in common, and so you'd have 5 divided by 5 is 1, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So we've learned that already. But now we have a repeating number, this repeating decimal. So we have to do something a little different. This number is really actually 0, 0.272727 and so on, because that bar right here tells us that these two digits continue on and on. So here's what we can do. So I can call this x, and then I can actually multiply both sides of this by a power of 10. In this case, I'm going to use 100 because there's two digits that are repeating. So 100 times x is 100x. And then 0 0.272727 and so on times 100. This moves the decimal point over there. So I end up with 27.272727. And now that's going to be helpful. I can now subtract these. And these are equivalent. x equaling this is the same as 100 multiplied both by both sides of that. Now I could just subtract this. So 100x minus x is 99x. 27 minus 0 is 27. And then look at this. The repeating part all disappears. And now we can just do our simple algebra of dividing both sides by 99, inverse operation. And we have x equals 27 over 99. We now need to find the GCD of the numerator and denominator. And I see that they both have a 9. So I have. 27 divided by 9, which is 3. 99 divided by 9, which is 11. And there we go. Our answer would be x equals 3 elevenths. So if you were to take the fraction 3 elevenths and convert it to a decimal, you would get this repeating answer. If I had different amounts of digits that were repeating, we'll take a look at those in other examples later on. Thank you.